church domes reaching the skies, we automatically assume that they were built so high to impress the believers and uh, awakening them all and a reverence to the divine. But this is not the only hypothesis. Some people raise the question whether Tesla was really the inventor of the atmospheric the usage of atmospheric electricity or he was consciously or subconsciously rediscovering what the culture of the survivors was already using. And the obvious similarity between the transmission towers and the domes of the churches and the cathedrals is not the only reason for which they put forward such a hypothesis. Do you notice the network of uh, metal pieces in this old church? Well, officially this is an armature of the building, but if you pay close attention you will find out that the metal pieces are absolutely useless in terms of providing support for the walls of this building. Just look at this thin piece of metal. This is definitely not the armature. And this is not how armatures are placed in a building. Moreover, in many cases, the domes of the churches are covered uh, with the gold and copper and those are metals with uh, certain qualities in terms of transmitting electricity. And this metal mesh closely resembles the elements that we use nowadays in the IT technology and more precisely in uh, the memory hardware. Some more very unconvincing armatures, so-called armatures, were they actually transmitting electricity? It really looks like something else, doesn't seem to support the building. So let's assume the churches were indeed transmitting electricity, uh, atmospheric electricity, Tesla style, then how were people actually using it? Well, on this old painting we see many many homes having on their tops antennas. Well, maybe the artists uh, wanted to, to make crosses but uh, they didn't uh, come through very accurate. But there are also other old um, paintings showing the houses having some sort of strange antennas really on the top. So who knows, maybe, uh, although at this point this is only a hypothesis, maybe it's uh, worth looking into. So when we see buildings like this, we automatically take them for places of worship, but they could be actually something like this, a small transformer vault. And probably you will object that um, the ancient temples have plenty of paintings on them. And then I guess you will like the next few better.